Hey guys, welcome back to another vlog and today we are here in Inverloch and this is on the southeast side of Melbourne. I'll put a little map so you guys know where we are and we are at this place called Eagle's Rest and it's such a beautiful place. It's an Airbnb. I'll list everything down in the description box down below if you guys are going to be visiting this part and would like to check this place out. It's such a nice little retreat. It's just off the main road and yeah, it's just very, very pretty. I'll let the visuals do the talking. And yeah, it's just a nice little retreat. It's, it, you definitely feel like it's secluded away from everything else, even though there's like a house right next to us. I think that's where the owners live. Um, and there's another little house over there, like a granny flat. Um, and I believe it's also another place for more guests to stay at. And just this view, it's so, so pretty. All right, so that's where the car is parked. And then if you look over there, you can see the water. Oh, that is so cool. You can see some sandbanks. So this is basically the driveway. And as you guys can see, there's cows, there's a horse. It's just so, so nice. It's just, oh, I, I'm, I'm running out of words to describe this place, but this place is so, so nice and relaxing. Definitely recommend you guys checking this place out. So this is the bedroom, obviously, we've kind of like rearranged the pillows already, but this is what it looked like before we actually rearranged things, but the view here is amazing. Like, look at that. That is going to be the view we're going to wake up to tomorrow morning, and I am obsessed. It is so pretty. We are back at the Airbnb. Unfortunately, we could not find a restaurant or like a fish and chip shop that wasn't busy um, to just get dinner. So the, the original plan was like, if we couldn't find a restaurant to have a meal in, we'd just go find a fish and chip shop. But unfortunately, most of them were quite packed or the parking wasn't good and there was just like so many people and obviously that's not good for social distancing so instead we went to food works which is basically a supermarket um usually found in more suburban areas or like country towns so just think of it like Coles and Woolworths but a little bit I, I find them a little bit more expensive to be completely honest so grab a couple of things to cook for dinner tonight instead considering we have um an oven and a stove and everything here we might as well just use that so I just grab some pies, some chips, and some nibblies for later this evening. While I'm waiting, I might as well also install the game. So I purchased this game. So this one is the Marvel Ultimate Alliance 3, the Black Order for the Nintendo Switch. And we stopped over at somewhere in Mulgrave, I think it was like Waverly Gardens or something like one of those shopping centers. I stopped by EV Games. They were having a sale and I thought I'd pick this up because the whole idea of this whole trip was just kind of like just chill and then do a little bit of exploring and yeah, chilling includes video games. <laughs> So I was still playing Immortal Phoenix Rising. I pretty much finished the main storyline and I'm just waiting for like the season passes to come out and then I'll purchase them and then start playing them. I didn't finish every single task in the game. I just pretty much follow storylines. I'm not really into like completing all the little tasks. Okay, the oven has preheated. So what I grabbed were these McCann um, pub style extra crispy chips. And then I got the Herbert Adams eight hour slow cooked chunky sour vibe beef. I actually don't know. I don't really eat beef that much. I just thought this looked like it was going to be a good one. Um, and it's just going to be a nice little simple dinner. And we'll probably just have it indoors. Just pull up the blinds and just have that amazing view while we have dinner. Okay, it's now 8.15 I think in the evening and obviously the sun is still setting here. Very, very picturesque. So pretty here. I'm gonna try and do maybe a bit of a time lapse. Oh, that looks so pretty, like the sun and everything. Oh, the gram is gonna be so lit. Alright, so I've dished up dinner, just going to let it cool down for a bit and we're going to dig in. This is where we're staying and this is like the behind bit and as you guys can see, we can see the hens. So 
we just went back inside, grabbed my bag, some sunnies, um, and we're going to go check out the rest of the town. So what we're going to do today is we're going to do this coastal drive um, up towards Cape Patterson. I think it's called the Barong Nong Cape Drive, I think. I'm not really sure, but I'll leave it on the screen for you guys as well, so that you guys can also follow this drive along with us. First place we're going to go to is called The Cave, so again, it's going to be on the map as well for you guys. So I think it's basically caves along the beach that is accessible during low tide. I don't think it's low tide at the moment, so I think we'll just kind of like sit like on the or walk towards like a viewing platform and then just take in the views from there. So we missed the turn to the caves, um, so we just kept going down and now we're here at the next stop which is called Eagle's Nest. We'll try and go back to the caves if we can on the way back up, but this is the view so far. It is incredibly nice out today, I think it's like a 23 degree day, um, but as you guys can see, not many clouds in the sky, pretty much blue, and oh, the view up here is pretty, I'll show you guys in a second. Oh, how cool is this? So apparently whales come here during the winter um, just because of the migration pattern. So southern right whales, killer whales, humpback whales. That's so cool. And that view. Okay, so again, this is Eagle's Nest and that was a really nice little walk. Um, I don't think we'll go back down to the caves um, just because I'm a little bit funny when it comes to like high tide and caves. This like weird thing about like <laughs> drowning. I don't think it will be a thing, but still. Anyway, we're going to walk back to the car and then we're going to go to the next stop along this little coastal drive. Okay, so we have driven down a little bit further. We were going to try and go to the other rest stops on, along the, um, the coastal drive, but unfortunately there weren't any car spots. So we ended up here at the Oaks. So far, so good. I think it's all kind of like just a walking trail, which is what I like. So there's some trees that have been blown over this way so it's growing that way and it's kind of like providing a bit of shade and it's really nice and cool under here. The sun is really hot so if you guys haven't been to Australia the sun is quite strong and you just really feel very warm under the sun. Like now that I'm going to go out in the sun I'm probably going to feel the heat radiating and yep there it is. <laughs> Guys, yeah, so we're in the back of the ute, so for those of you guys that live in North America, the truck, <laughs> in the tray of the truck, um, we've driven down to this place called Harmer's Haven, which is still in the Baranong Marine Park, so it's like further down, and we've, ju we've just parked here, and this is the view. So we've got some fish and chips, and this is the view. So we are back at the Airbnb and we've just been chilling and we wanted to go to the beach but unfortunately um, it's really really busy like there was literally no car spots available we went through multiple beaches like Venus Bay but it seems to be a very very popular thing to do at the moment so um, we thought we'd just give that a skip um, tomorrow we are planning to go to Phillip Island we're going to go to the chocolate factory we've been there before but last time we went there it was with my family it was rather rushed so this time we're going to go and just take our time and also check out the cafe hopefully it's open um, yeah so speaking of cafes we have a booking at one of the restaurants in town so it's called the captain's lounge the ivy fc hotel and um, i had a look at their menu last night and it looked really really good that was the first place that we wanted to go to but unfortunately couldn't get a booking um so we tried our luck today and we could get one so i don't think the booking is until 7 30. it's only 6 30 so we've got an hour to kill 
So we're probably just going to chill for a little bit longer and then hop in the car and then get there a little bit early maybe. So we finished dinner and that was amazing. So now we're here at this little boat ramp and it is amazing. The views here are stunning. And this is just, I think, down the road from our Airbnb. I really wish you could stay another night, but this place is fully booked. It's very, very popular at the moment. Like my partner and I are low-key hoping that there's gonna be like a last minute cancellation and then we get to stay, but we'll see how things go. I doubt we will. Um, but otherwise, this view is amazing. I also actually really like the fact that there are clouds now because now it's really showing all the different colors in the sky and I absolutely love that. Tomorrow, if plans go ahead, we are going to go back to Melbourne, but we're going to stop at Phillip Island. We're going to check out the chocolate factory. We've got tickets and everything already, so I'll take you guys along with me in the next vlog to check out that chocolate factory. But for now, thank you guys so much for watching. Check out my Instagram if you guys would like to see some behind the scenes photos and stuff that I've taken of this trip and I'll leave you guys with this little time-lapse of the sky.